Hey guys, welcome back for another video. This is my GMC Acadia and today I'm going to show you guys how to replace GMC power steering pump without lowering the frame. By the time I found out there was a problem with my GMC Acadia, the power steering fluid was empty already. This was how it looked like under the hood. I cleaned up the air with some brake cleaners and added some fluid into the power steering tank to determine where the leak was coming from. I knew it was the power steering pump that was leaking but I wanted to make sure. I didn't get a video of the leaking pump but the power steering pump was leaking so let's replace it. First thing is taking off the engine shield and then you need a flathead to take out these retainer. Stick the flathead in the center and try to pop it up. Wiggle it side to side and then put the flathead onto the side and try to pop it up. Go to the left and to the right and until it pops out. And it's getting looser. Once it get loose enough then you could just pull it out. And there it is. And then just do the same thing to the next one. So that one came out pretty easy. Pull it out and remove the retainer. Take off this staple and take off this staple. Pry it open with a flathead and start from this end and work your way down. Tape the flat to the side. You need a breaker bar to release the belt tension. Insert the drive into the belt tensioner. Once you got that in, then you can push the breaker bar to the left to loosen up the belt. Pull off the belt from the bottom of the engine pulley. Now we can start working on taking off the power steering pump from this GMC Acadia. There is two bolts holding up the pump. One is in the front and the other one is in the back which is kind of hard to get to. You will have to go under the car and use a socket wrench with a few extensions to reach the bolt. This is a quick clip of the screw. You need a 15 millimeter to take it out. After loosening up the bolt, I was able to take out the bolt with my hands. This is what the bolt looks like. Next you need a plier to take off the clamp off the hose. The hose is going to be on the top of the power steering pump. Release the clamp from the hose and then move it up higher. Once the clamp is high enough, place a pan underneath the car for the fluid. Then use a big flathead to push the hose off the pump. The oil pan underneath was able to catch all the fluid. Wait until all the fluid is drained. Using the 15mm deep socket to extension and impact to remove the front bolt off the engine. Now you can take off the bolt. Next you need a short 16mm to take off the pressure line from the top of the power steering pump. Once you got the pressure line off the pump, angle the pulley facing out. If you haven't already got a pulley pulley kit, you can go to AutoZone and rent out that tool for free. This is what the kit looks like. And these are the two parts that you're going to need to pull out the pulley. Holding the bolts aligned with the center of the pulley, clamp the bolt and the pulley together with those two half clamp. Slide the outside cover on. Then turn the bolt until it gets tight. Place a flathead through the opening of the pulley to stabilize it from spinning. 
Then use a 15 millimeter socket to turn the bolt. Spin the bolt to the right to pull the pulley off the power steering pump. Once the pulley comes off the pump, you can remove the flathead and the pulley puller. Then after that, you could take out the pulley. To take out the power steering pump, it's going to be kind of tricky. Move the pump closer to you. Flip the pump to this side. You can see how I was able to angle the pump a certain way for the power steering pump to come out. On the left is the old power steering pump and on the right is the new power steering pump. I have purchased mine through Amazon. I will give you a link down below. When you are putting the pulley back into the pump, make sure it's going in the correct way otherwise you're going to have problems. This is the correct way for putting the pulley back on. Next grab your pulley installer kit. Check to see which screw thread fits the pump. There's two screws here so I need to check on two of them. First I'm going to check on the smaller one to see if it fits and it doesn't seem like it fits. Trying out the next screw, let's see if this fit. And it looks like it does. Screw the polar bodies onto the screw. Turn it until it's halfway down the screw. It should look like this. Insert the power steering pump back in the same way you took the old pump out. Push the pump in facing down. Once you get it in there, you need to turn it to the right. Then flip the pump up. This will be the position you need the pump to be. Align the pulley with the pump then screw the pulley installer bolt. Turn the bolt to the right. Once the bolt is tight, start tightening the body of the bolt. Insert a flat head through the opening of the pulley to stabilize the pulley from spinning. Then use a 17mm wrench to turn the body of the bolt. This will press the pulley back into place. Once the pulley is pressed in, release the bolt body by turning it to the left. Make sure the pulley is flush to the power steering pump shaft. Then finish taking off the pulley installer. Next, we connect the two lines and the two bolts onto the power steering pump. Once you get that done, you can continue into the next part of the video, which will be reinstalling the belt. I went ahead and replaced my GMC Acadia with this new belt. It's a AC Delco 6K930. I got it off of Amazon for 28 bucks. I will leave a link down below. This is a quick look at the diagram on how the belt should go back onto the engine. Start the belt at the highest point, then work your way down. Slide the belt over this roller. Wrap the belt over the pulley on the right side. Sorry I wasn't able to get it on the video. Start working on the left side. The belt goes over the pulley. Pull on the belt to tighten it up. Now you can wrap the belt onto the power steering pulley. Slide the belt through this roller. Insert a breaker bar into the belt tensioner. Then pull the belt tight with your left hand and align the belt with the top of the last pulley. Use the right hand to loosen up the belt tension by applying pressure to the breaker bar. Then wrap the belt over the pulley. Here's a quick clip on how everything should look like when it's finished. Next fill up the power steering tank with fluid. Check up the front of the car so that the tires are not touching the ground. Start up your car and then turn the steering wheel almost all the way to the right and almost all the way to the left. Keep doing this for at least 10 reps. Then go back and fill up the power steering tank. Go back to the car and turn the steering wheel until you don't hear any more noise. 
thanks for watching my video on how to replace GMC Acadia power steering pump. I was able to replace the power steering pump without lowering the frame, but that's because I had smaller hands. Don't try this way if you have bigger hands. GMC Acadia is a pain to work on. If this video helps you in any kind of way, please leave me a thumbs up and support my channel by subscribing. Leave me a comment down below of what you think I could have done better. Thanks and later.